Hi everyone, it's Elena from JetBrains and today I want to give you 5 quick tips on how to get started with SQL cells and database connections in Datalore. Tip number 1. Attach a database and browse schema. In Datalore you can create database connections that you can then reuse across other notebooks. To add a new connection, follow these steps. Go to Attach Data and click Select Data to Attach. Find your database type and input the credentials. Test the connection and save it. Find your database in the Attach Data and browse the database schema by clicking on the database item. You can manage all your database connections from your file system. Tip number two, get code completion for SQL. To get SQL code completion, you need to connect your SQL cell to a database. When you have only one database attached, the SQL cell will be automatically connected to your database. But if you have multiple databases, follow these steps. Choose the database name from the list or click new SQL cell on the database item. Start writing your query and you will get code completion and syntax highlighting. Tip number three, visualize results right away. Get out of the box visualizations for your query results by switching to the Visualize tab. There you can get basic point, bar, line, area and correlation plots on a sample dataset and customize plots further in chart cells or code cells. Tip number four, rename the data frame variable. Each SQL query result is automatically saved to a Pandas data frame. You can rename this variable directly in the SQL cell and to continue working on the query result with Python. And tip number five, publish results of your work. Press the share button and then choose to publish the notebook. This will create a static copy of the notebook and you can share it by link, even with people who don't have a Datalore account. If you are sharing your results with non-technical people, don't forget to to hide code inputs and describe everything with markdown. I hope these tips were helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to our blog and follow us on Twitter.